Hello everyone, today I'll be making a rack of baby back ribs on my Instant Pot pressure cooker. So over here, I have a rack of ribs I bought at the grocery store. Let's say uh, two, two and a half pounds. And over here, as you can see here, it's homemade barbecue sauce made with fresh ingredients. None of the bottled grocery store barbecue sauce. So it should come out really good. I'm going to, you know, put it, you know, heat this up, cook it using the instant pot cooker, and uh, after that, apply some barbecue sauce on there and throw in the grill to brown it out. Um, usually, you know, making ribs will take you know, hours, you know, for that tender fall off the bone, delicious ribs. Well, this method should save uh, a lot more time and should be able to accomplish the same thing within within one hour. So, let's get started. Okay, so I have my ribs ready to go. My Instant Pot over here. Going to a nice size rack of ribs. Usually I like to you know, rinse it off a little bit. Kind of get the you don't know who, who touched it. So just a little rinse. I put in the whole thing. So later when it's done, I'll, I'll cut it. So I'll drop in the whole thing into the instant pot. Wash my hand here real quick. Then I'm gonna add a, I have a cup of water. I'm gonna add a cup of water. I use filtered water, you know, using a NutriPure filter. Uh, a cup and a half. I guess not really a cup, but like a glass cup of this. I'm gonna add some pepper. Uh oh. I'm going to add some pepper. Get our mouth so let's get some, you know, get some flavor to it. You know, you add whatever spices you like. I'm going to keep it simple for now uh, because I have this bar the homemade barbecue sauce, which I'll apply later. Add some ginger. You know, ginger is good. It's a warm up. You know, uh, get some a little good flavor, good zing to it. And that's it, that's it. I'll lift up the camera a little bit. And that's it, that's that's what I have in there. All the ribs, a cup and a half water, put a little spices, whatever you like. And that's it. So now, let's see what, should, what else should I put in there? Maybe I'll do a little salt in it. Small amount of it, and it should be fine. And that's it. I'm going to close it up. It makes this chime. Close the vent. What I'm going to run is going to run the the meat for. As you can see, it's high pressure. It's going to be hot. So I'm going to set it for some more time. Let's say 30 minutes. I'm going to do this 30 minutes. So what it does is actually going to cook for 30 minutes once it gets started. It's going to heat up and then cook for 30, 30 minutes and not, not 30 minutes total. So that's kind of convenient with the instant pot. So there it goes. We'll check back in 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. All right, the ribs are complete. I'm gonna vent it out because it's high pressure, so definitely wanna vent it out. I'm gonna set it off. I'm 
and just rub it back down. Smell like it's cooked. Got pan ready. Set it up. We also got other other food being cooked right now. Got some veg vegetables. A lot of vegetables. What are these called again? Brussels sprouts. sprouts and some cranberries in there and some real deal real deal vegetables all right let's go back to the ribs all right it's almost almost finished almost bent that out definitely let always let it vent it out complete before opening all right it's hot so, a lot of, a lot of steam. All right. So it is complete. Look at that. Rooms are complete. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out now. I'm gonna break it up into sections. Right here. Another one. Very tender, it's like falling off the bone already. So maybe it doesn't need like 30, 30 minutes, maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes should be enough. Try out this meat. Mm, very tender. Now I'm gonna apply some the homemade barbecue sauce. Homemade barbecue sauce right here. Look at that. Homemade barbecue sauce. That's delicious, huh? I put the recipe sometimes. You know, check back in the comments. Brown it for another like 15 minutes or so just to get that grilled. Yeah, or, you, or you can put it in the grill also, but right now I don't, I don't have a grill. So that's good for now. That's good sauce. So. Brush it in there. Yeah. Alright, okay. I'm going to 
put in the oven now. Four. 30, no, 15 minutes. There we go. Put oven for okay. around 15 minutes should be good. Let's get that flavor, you know, get that brown. 15 minutes. All right, we'll be back when it's done. All right, it is done. See how it looks? All right. Let's round it out a little bit. Oh, look at this rib. Look, look at that. That's delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Look at that ribs. Now I just got to cut it. Cut it up into smaller pieces. Well, there you go. Baby back ribs on the Instant Pot. All right, I hope you all enjoyed the video. You know, try it out, try out the recipe, let me know how it is. Well, now I'm gonna get back to my rib eating. Man, delicious. Try it out. See y'all later.